Badger and the Badger. Hey everybody, it is the Angry Honey Badger here, and it is time for Teemo. And before you get all ragey, we're going to talk about Teemo in a very enlightened, light way. So what we're going to do today is talk about his build, his runes, his masteries, his abilities, and the items you might want to consider if you think you're going to play Sir Satan himself. So... Um, might do another video coming up too about why people hate Teemo. It sounds interesting. So, um, because my hate for Teemo is different than your hate for Teemo, I guarantee it. Anyways, let's talk about those runes and masteries quick and get those out of the way so we can really dive deep into what makes Teemo Teemo. So, for those runes, hybrid penetration marks, armor or health seals, I take ability power scaling glyphs. You might want to take magic resist if you want to be safer. And then I take ability power quintessences. I play greedy Teemo, and I took the health seals, not the armor ones, which gets these level one fights to be close, but I'm Teemo. I'm going to flash one more auto. She's ignited. Going to win. Um, yeah. She can't fight me. She was not on the minions. She, yeah. I mean, it's Riven. She does hurt. Don't get me wrong, but the blind stops the auto attacks, which is what makes Riven really good. So first blood. No, not even first blood, I don't think. Just kill to me. Anyways. We're going to continue onward with the Masteries now down in the bottom right. There they are. Pause the video if you want to check them out. Or check out the Masteries video in the description, along with the Rune video. So, that is that. So, let's move on to the abilities. Let's first talk about Teemo's passive. That would be Camouflage. If Teemo stands still and doesn't do anything for two seconds, he becomes stealthed indefinitely. After leaving his stealth, Teemo will gain um, an increase in attack speed by 40% for two seconds. Pretty nice. Pretty interesting. Can be used for uh, camouflage tactics. Um, other than that, not used all the, not not used most of the time. So that's just what it is. At level one, I typically will put a point into my toxic shot each time Teemo attacks an enemy. He will poison the target, dealing magic damage on hit, and it scales from ability power um, each second for four seconds. The duration of the poison will be refreshed with each subsequent attack, um, but the damage does not. So. That is his. Uh, that is your, his toxic shot. And fun thing about toxic shot is we max this out first, typically. Then at level two, put a point into your blind. You're gonna want that to blind them. Rexai didn't actually leave after ganking. We call this camping. Doesn't matter. They're getting poisoned. One more auto. He shoots. One more auto. You're dead. And so back to the blinding dart. You take a point to at level two. Um, this will obscure an enemy's vision, dealing magic damage to them, and it will blind the unit and cause them to miss their next basic attacks um, for the next one to two point, one and a half to two and a half seconds, depending on how many points you have in it. Blind is an incredibly powerful tool and is the lifeblood to how most people play Teemo either correctly or wrong. We'll talk about it in a second. And then at level three or four, put a point into your move quick passively. You have increased movement speed until struck by a champion or turret. The passive is restored five, in five seconds after uh, you've not been struck. Activating it for three... Um, when you activate it for three seconds, Teemo will gain double his passive movement speed and will not lose it if he is hit. Um, it's, 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 it's a quick way to move around. It's a good way to harass people. It's a good way to chase people. It's a good way to kill people. Um, I like it. It's fun. And then, of course, at level six, you get your, uh, your Noxus Trap. These are your shrooms. You place that on the ground. Um, it takes you a second to arm it. When anybody steps on it, deals a lot of magic damage, slowing them uh, for a percentage over four seconds. The traps will last for 10 minutes. Teemo will store um, tr up to three charges on him. It's fun. When you're after death, you respawn with two mushrooms. Fun fact. I actually didn't know that part. Learn something every day. Anyways, um, we got three kills at this point. We pushed the tower, so... That's, uh, that's what we're doing. <clears throat> Anyways, let's dive into the early part of the build. We start out with the Dorn's Ring and some pots. We want that for the mana regen, the health, and uh, the ability power damage. Then we build the Nasher's Tooth for the reason of which is stack the passive on the toxic shot. Very strong. This will allow you to deal so much consecutive damage over and over to them. It's really good. Also, great thing about the Nasher's Tooth is the on-hit damage 
and the ability power, the attack speed, and the cooldown reduction, because the cooldown reduction on Teemo, actually a great thing. It allows you to put way more shrooms out, which becomes even more troublesome for the enemy team. So, um, cooldown reduction, fantastic. Good on every champion, great on Teemo. So we built the Nasher's Tooth. We've also built our boots, we went Sorks, because more magic penetration equals more of them dying. We're sitting here, yeah, she's finally come out from her turret of being scared. We let her farm a little bit, because we're kind of nice, but we're playing Teemo, so we're not really nice at all. There's and we're just no gonna chase her down. She's got them. absolutely nowhere to go. She is gonna make a stand, though, and she's gonna turn and fight me in a second, and she will deal damage to me, but it's because I have base armor and magic resist. She's gonna tickle me. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna live with like 500 health, so. Or 400 health, regardless. It was a for sure kill. Um, we're gonna continue building on. Let's talk about Teemo's abilities, though, or why people play Teemo wrong or right. So, I will agree, there are about 18 million different ways to build Teemo, but granted, there's about 18 million ways to build any champion. If it works for you, it works for you. I like this way the most for me. I'm gonna kill Rek'Sai again, because they plowed into a shroom and they're gonna die. Um, but I like Teemo full AP, the blind dart damage plus just auto attacking him like three times with toxic shock shot and the passive damage it does. Like that's just a kill on almost anybody who doesn't have more than 2,500 health, which at this point in the game, ain't nobody got 2,500 health um, unless they're a tank. So uh, you can kill anybody really quick. Blind negates all damage coming into you. You are the master duelist. That is Teemo. So the thing about Teemo is that blinding dart. So when people use it incorrectly, here's the problem. They use it to poke, and don't get me wrong, it can do good damage, but if you poke someone with Blinding Dart, you then as Teemo have to assume that you're not going to fight them until Blinding Dart is about to come off of cooldown, which is eight seconds. So what happens is, if you are playing against a Teemo, exploit when they use Blinding Dart incorrectly. If you want to go back and slow the footage down and watch me in lane, I bet I only poked her with Blinding Dart once while in lane. I'm always saving it, unless I know I'm going to jump in and kill her, or if she wants to jump on me or someone's going to gank me. And granted, you can poke people down, I just don't do it. I poke them down with my standard attacks with a Toxic Shot. Because Toxic Shot's passive damage will do lots of damage. So instead of poking them with a blind and it does a handful of damage, don't get me wrong, it will, I'm gonna just poke them with a couple toxic shots, get that ticking damage and that base damage on them, and just do it that way. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that. When someone goes to turn to fight you with their standard attacks, you know, a Riven, a Yasuo, I believe was the last build I did with Teemo against them. I talked about the same thing. In one duel, he jumps on me, and he hits me really hard with an ability or with one auto, and then we blind him, and he doesn't touch me until he's dead. Because that's what you use blind for. You use it so they can't deal any damage to you. Because face it, Teemo's squishy. That's why a lot of people like doing the tankier Teemo with Frozen Mallet going AD. It's not a bad build. It slows them indefinitely, but the damage really isn't there until you have about five items. Teemo with two items this build, because we've built the Nasher's Tooth and now we've finished off the Lich Bane, the combination of I hit you with a, a Blinding Dart and then I'm going to auto you twice will kill them with the... Lich Bane and the Nasher's Tooth and the penetration that we have, just everything. It's just a lot of damage. I mean, we have eight kills, and I mean, it's just this is how it works. So, the big thing is don't burn bl uh, your blind, your poison dart, or your blinding dart at the wrong time. That is how you jump on Teemo. So, if you're playing against one, they use the blinding dart, wait for the blind to go away if you're an auto attack heavy champion. What are they going to do next? Either run away with their move quick or try to kill you with Toxic Shot if they have enough damage, but if they can't blind you, you're able to do all the damage you want. Teemo struggles from having to actually, like, fight fight when it's trading auto blows because he's got no defense unless it's, like I said, a tank mo, which is hilarious and can work, but not amazing either. So once again, full damage, AP Teemo is kind of where it's at. Um, another item I have picked up in the build right now is the Haunting, guys. I will pick this up a little bit earlier if I want to get that penetration, the health, and AP. Um, it can be helpful if you just need a little bit more health. It's a little bit safer. It's a good item too because the nice thing about the Haunting, guys, is it will build into the Leandry's Torment, which we've just finished off. Now granted, not the most amount of ability power. We get an okay amount of health, which is good. You know, Teemo, like we said, squishy, so a little bit of health is helpful. We get more magic penetration, which is awesome. We get its passive, though, where you're going to burn your enemies for 6% of their current health as magic damage over 3 seconds, dealing 1% of their current health as magic damage every 0.5 seconds. If their movement is impaired, they take double damage from this effect. So what happens is anytime somebody steps on one of those shrooms, they're taking a lot of damage for it. And it's a great way to slow people, kill people, and do all those things. So, um, 
Landry's Torment is great with his shrooms. is pretty awesome. So, Or anytime anybody else's crowd control is of impairing their movement speed. That's uh, getting procced. So very, very good item. Um, like I said, not the most amount of just raw AP damage, but the, the items we have are working for us in many ways. So we get even more movement speed too from that Lich Bane. And like I said, when we, when we do blind them and we do auto them, um, I, get, I bait myself to death there. Um, when we do do that, we, uh, we do a lot of damage with that Lich Bane. So the next item we will be uh, picking up is going to really increase our damage, though. We will be getting the Death Cap next. If you wanted to rush the Death Cap a little bit quicker, you're obviously going to hurt a lot more with those blinding darts and with those just toxic shots, which is good. I mean, those are great. And your, and your shrooms, once again, doing lots of damage. Those are great. So um, you could totally rush that if you didn't want to finish off your Leandries right away. But uh, Leandries is not a, not a bad item on Tima. So definitely, definitely fun oh item. Lots of yelling in the background uh, because yelling happens. We're gonna, luckily, nice thing too about Teemo is you're so damn fast when you don't get hit, you can dodge a lot of crap, although I ate that. But two, we're gonna three autos onto, uh, onto the Corky and we blind him. We don't take any damage from his autos so he doesn't get the proc from his sheen. Probably could have been a lot of damage. Maybe could have killed us, who knows. But um, you don't worry about that because that's what you use your dart for. You saved it on that auto attack champion. So that's what we do and that's how it works. But that's Teemo. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's Teemo. So yeah, I, uh, I, uh, yeah, 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 um, death cap. So what I was going to say is, I don't know where all the hate stems. Maybe you can let us know down below why everybody hates Teemo. I mean, at this, like, okay, so way, 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 way back in the day, way back, season one, people didn't hate Teemo. I know it's hard to believe. Everybody loved Teemo. I know it's weird to say, but everybody liked Teemo for a long time. He was fun, he was hilarious, and it was stupid. It still is stupid, and there's a hilarious double kill, but everybody liked Teemo. It was uh, it was what they did. Now, everybody hates Teemo, but I want to know where the hate came from. Was it because everybody hates his blind? Is it because everybody hates... Like, there's got to be a reason. Don't just be like, we just hate him. It's, it had to have stemmed from something. That's all I'm saying. So, if you know, let me know in the comments. But who knows? I don't know, I don't know why all the hate. Um... I don't mind Teemo. If I play against Teemo, it can be slightly annoying if the player's good, but if they're bad, it's just usually an easy way to win lane. Teemo is completely dependent on the skill level of the player, in my opinion. He's not just an insta-win, because he doesn't contribute to team fights very well, and this would be a con about Teemo. But if you focus fire correctly, or you split push the crap out of him, which I've done a lot in top lane or wherever they've roamed and, then I, and I push another lane, Teemo can do quite well, because he'll duel anybody because of that blind which is a great way to use Teemo in the good split push. And he can show up in team fights and do a surprising amount of damage. If you want to set up traps as well, he does this good too. If you like know your team wants to get some objectives, go shroom around an objective. Set up a bunch of potential kills for your team. You can do multiple things with Teemo. He's not just a split pusher. He's not just a team fighter, although he probably does that honestly the worst. He's not just controlling objectives. He can do multiple things. Just use him correctly or use him to the skills that you can use correctly. He also can push towers incredibly fast because he has a bunch of attack speed with the Nasher's Tooth. And if you want to proc anything, you know, on a minion with your uh, blind, or you want to use your movement speed, you proc your Lich Bane, and you hit structures for even more damage. So just got to use the Teemo correctly. We finished off the Death Cap, and next we are building towards our Zonia's Hourglass. Unfortunately, the video is going to end like 20 seconds, because while I was recording this video, I bumped the hotkey to stop recording. I go back to base and then we literally push and win. So it's going to cut off in a second, but if you have any questions about Teemo, leave them down below. Everything else is in the description, so be sure to check that out. And uh, yeah, the video is just going to end. I'll see all of you guys next time.